step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. My turn. of precise machinations. You won't get away! It's too late to repent. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Clemency? Never heard of it. You have the worst luck running into me! Let's make it quick. Time for a deep one at a time. Just a scratch. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking cut. Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision!
move. This is our chance. What about this? Combat is a series of precise machinations. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. You couldn't have done it without me. Express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes.
Wait, march! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's go. Detailed overhaul. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. How about this? You... won't get away. Uh, rules? are made to be broken! Combat is a series of precise mechan- ah! Ah! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision! The worst 
left, Renna. Let's go. Make it quick. What about this? Time for a detailed overhaul. One at a time. It'll take more than that. Clemency? Never heard of it. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! Ch you won't get away! Of precise machinations. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. See? Never heard of it. Time for a detailed overhaul.
Talk somewhere else. Is this the space station? Hello there. Not bad. It would have been even better if you didn't faint, but thanks to you. The Doomsday Beast was as tame as a kitten. It had no temper. All right, all right. I just gave you a compliment. Don't let it go to your head. However, you are indeed the hero this time. Get up when you feel better. Himeko wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you, all right? By the way, we should exchange beacons. If you get lost or something, feel free to text me. Okay, off I go. Bye!
You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? That old Xandar came up with a name. You think I like it? So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. <gasps> You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. <laughs> Compared to me, you are. How old are you even? Don't judge a book by its cover, Herda. Case in point, that puppet body of yours is actually much... That's beside the point. Hey, is this one the same kind as that March 7? If that were true... Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. Study you, of course. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some you should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have- I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. But you understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll... And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need... Give it some good thought. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision.
What you're seeing is one of my remote-controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans, like how were they created? Why were they... Well, indeed, it's got nothing to do with you. But the four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? 
That machine contains a unit. I call it the metaverse. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will go. Keep at it. It's too late to repent. You have the worst luck running into me. Step aside. I have no interest in stop. I told you I could fight. The truth of life and death, revealed in an this sanctuary, is but a vision. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's make it quick. Hello. 
move. to repent. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's go. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. now or crash later?
move. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose?
It's getting late. Where to now? It's getting late. Where to now?
inviting you <laughs> a gift from the stars with me out here how can we lose Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! You couldn't have done it without me. now or crash later?
Move carefully. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Broken! 
Who's the lucky one today? So this is... complete. Wow.
that's how it works. Looks good. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! A guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? Let's go. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I don't remember inviting you. Look out! My turn! Reach the end of the story in your own way.
It's getting late. Where to now? It's getting late. Where to now?
Nice. So, have you thought things through?
Then come with me. The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Time to get on. Till we make it. Oh. Take the journey. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. We will see. Come with me, take the journey. We will see. Come with me, take the journey. Here already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. I'll be waiting till we make it. Oh? Why are you interested? Ah, Pom Pom remembers him. Hmm, very. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running. Don Hong's room? Oh, yeah, he's just sort of. March 7th's room is right next. You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to. That also got modified. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the expresses no matter where you go. Himako likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm. Who's that? I learned to sense incoming visitors after people. Can I help you? Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I enter the collected data. Do you see the terminal over there?
the door is unlocked. Just one look should be fine. Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. So much has happened in such a short time. Ahem! Hi! Hello! Attention all passengers! Attention all passengers! The Express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I repeat. long enough but at least everyone he won't be here so just leave him oh yeah take these a tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger think of it as like that before but it wasn't stars for me though it was lights when I first woke up after being rescued from the ice I could see clusters of stars in front of me I reached out for them automatically but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights the whole crew was watching me I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... 
Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt. I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like ever since then I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? It's fine. I would. Uh... <laughs> ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about... 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy! Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And that's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you! Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. I won't Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Millennia? Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So... Th yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rails to schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. locality of this world has been affected. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron- Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Huh? 
someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by... So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good march if you two are ready. Why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. I enjoy being alone. I went through the Express's data. He said so? Hmm. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that if I had to choose a site for initial investigation, As I expected, and even after you arrived, I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on your real IC. You should- Did you talk to Don Hung? Ha really? I find- Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought, a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girl. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <sighs> I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team! Urelo 6, we're here. One big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole? Oh, please stop bringing that up. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two. I said drop it. Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers, and Don Hung. Uh. He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna rig- So how long does copycatitis last? Let's go! Braving the unknown? That's the real- This place still hasn't been corroded. 
Yet Fragmentum monsters have already made it here. It's too late to repent. The time is now. <laughs> Scared yet? Turn. Watch this! Reach the end of the story in your own way. 